is Nistro here with the first place locals finalist tied for first with his Unchained deck with 4-1. So why play Unchained this format? Unchained is probably one of the most con like consistent engines in this format. The lines are very simple, but has very misleading boards on because of how much they blow up. They end on like three cards max on the board. <laughs> and like it, it does so much. It's like literally five disruptions. Okay. You want five disruptions? I think a deck like this is very unique because you don't have any negations. You don't play, the only negations you play are your hand traps. Other than that, you're not really playing like playing to negate anything. You're not playing like any like oh omni negates or anything. You're just playing a deck that just pops cards on the field and yoinks monsters. Yeah. That's all you're doing. Like you're not it's not anything too complicated. Like that's why I like this deck. For the monsters, you play three Sharvara and the one Shayama. This is the basically like the engine that everyone agreed that is the best. Three one. You don't want to see this in your hand. I saw this twice and I beat, and I actually lost the game when I saw this in my opening hand. It's basically one of the only two quote unquote bricks because there is a way to summon this from the hand. You can use a twin to actually summon. Every single one of the twins says like these unchained twins, Sarama, Aruha. They all say. Special summon from your hand or deck. It destroys a card you control while it's in the graveyard and destroy a card. Special summon this from the grave. You're gonna use this mid combo to, to set up on this guy. You set up top four, you're gonna set up this guy. My ratios for twins is different. This is where like I see the most difference between like most unchained decks is the twin ratio. I like playing three six Arama, three Aruha, and two Rakea. You want to end on Rakea. You don't want to you don't want to like run through these during their turn. You pop you activate Rakea, pop your trap. Like this is, this card basically is your way to beat out evenly matched in Dark Blue no more. Sorry, if you can end with an extra unchained name, I would rather you end with Rakea because you can make it make this board. Dark Ruler and Evenly Proof. I've seen them uh, Unchained decks, like if you run like the Tour Guide engine, you run 2-2, two, two, you run 2-2-3, two, two, or even 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 with the Tour Guide engine, you, I see like 1-2-3, like this is the most flexible part of the engine. Unchained Soul, I mean, this card's broken. Like this card literally is so good. Like this card's going good going first, this card actually works so well going second. It's crazy. It's crazy. We play the three of Abominations Prison. We play three Escape of the Unchained, and we play three of Chamber. I feel that this is probably the best for consistency. I feel that if you want to cut something, you can cut one of these because this card is literally broken, absurd. You pop one card, you pop one Unchained card on your side of the field. You pop one Unchained. You pop another card on the field. It can be any card on the field. That's where this comes into. That, that's where um, uh, the evenly dark roller no more proof plan comes into play. Because they activate evenly, or they activate dark ruler. You can activate this, pop the twin, pop the Rakea like I mentioned earlier, and pop Rage, which would trigger Yama, which would trigger Rage. You would keep Rage, and you would summon something else. So you can still play. For evenly, you would have to do it now, but like for Dark Roller no more, you can actually wait for your opponent to like start playing the game. Because then um, uh, for, instead of summoning another twin, when you pop Rakea, you could summon Broken during your opponent's turn, discard a card, and then get another. It helps with that I play a lot of targets with twins. The only bad situation I had was when I drew this plus this. It's like, oh, well, I guess it's just past turn then. Oh, yeah, and that happened in like one of my matchups in the bracket. Prosperity, you, you love digging into your deck. And my extra deck was incomplete. So you're gonna see some very nice prosperity targets. Some sus targets in some there. Some very sus targets. My hand trap ratio is 3 Ash, 3 Nib, 2 Troll, 3 Imperm, 2 Pukaboon, okay. and 2 Triple Tactics Talent. These all actually have a purpose. These all came in clutch today. Every single- except this guy. I hate this guy. This guy never showed up when I needed him. I drolled um, uh, a Trap Trick player. Summon Pudika, which um, adds a Trap Trick Garden from the deck to hand. And then I drolled, and they couldn't summon Mermaleo to get another Trap Card. They couldn't activate um, uh, Mantis to search for another name. Droll is good into like just yeah. about every rogue it, deck. It's literally yeah. Good into like everything. Like it works against Chimera as well, because like once they once they have to commit to the Mirror Knight play. Do I need to talk about Emperor? Uh, not really. It's a good card. Yeah, really good card. Ash is a no-brainer. There are many choke points in, versus like many decks that a simple Ash and that one choke point can literally halt their whole turn against some uh, Chimera branded. The, the guy didn't open any of his Chimera stuff, so he had to like resort to the to the Brandon play. And the Brandon play choke point is Brandon Fusion. So, if, you, if they had to resort to Brandon Fusion, this basically just ends their turn. I did not fucking see this guy one time today. I haven't seen him once. 
Where is where? Where do you go? Where? Give me your, your rocks. I haven't seen this card all day. This card is really good. Don't, don't get it twisted. This leaving on your opponent with one monster means so much for this deck. Because like you give them a special summon monster. The big thing is you can anguish, take their token, and you can go straight into access machine. Broken. Because none of the, because funny enough, unless you use the effects of the twins, you're not locked in the fiends. This deck doesn't lock in until you use the twins effects. That's why your best starter, you know, the doggy. Right. Talents. I did activate talents once against Ash. They didn't want I summoned Yama, they asked Yama. This was after I actually had to commit very hard because I drew up. Surprisingly Brittany in with luck with a, a actually very consistent deck. So I was like, damn. They Ash Prosperity, I just talents. I remember I talents the outlaw uh, the Reflecia. Okay. Like I made the Reflecia with the uh, Ruha, negated my Ruha, and I activated talents to take the to take the monster. And then I Savara popped my popped my Ruha, fresh summoned it. And then since since the requirements for rage is one soul uh, unchained soul monster, you just link for soul. That's it for the hand traps. If you look at the monster, you'll see that there's a card missing. This, I do have this card. I just don't like this card. This card literally, it's so good going second. It is really good going second, but so many test duels I had where I've seen dog and it just stayed in my hand for like five turns. Like, get this card out of here. There's a lot of variety, like a, a lot of flexibility with this extra deck. I've seen some people go full unchained, like three of everything. I've seen some people go like, Three two one. I'm um, at three two two, and well, I am people. Uh, let's start with yesterday. I am people. I run three rage, three of the best cards in the art type. This card was a mistake to release. This card's really fucking broken. And two of the. Oh, this actually came up. This I've seen people do actually do three two one, but I feel that the second dog is needed, and I was right because today I actually used two of my dogs. I used one for the unicorn. Like, it was against the bluster blader. Bluster blader. So one, I used the second one for as an escape target and one abomination. You know, abomination. There's not none to say about this. It's literally the win harder card. Last but not least, the thing you want to end up every turn with. Solemn warning. The card. And it's not even once per turn. It's not once per turn. One. This is your BNB. One, two. Yep, escape. That's it. That's your end board. Very simple. But two solemn warnings. Steal your monster and unicorn. It, right. it, it can tag. It can actually tag into to the unicorn, which you discard to spin a card. So that is in a way five interruptions. Awful. That's not it. Uh, if you had a twin, you would go for an abominable discard, pitch card. Yeah. Pop card. So now we go for the pet card, the cards for certain matchups. Axis God went harder. So Rama, when you set, if you set a card and destroy it, it doesn't lock into fiends. And, it, and when you destroy a twin, the effect is for summon it, it doesn't lock into either. So you can just steal their monster, and then you go, oh, oh, I stole your monster? Axis God. Very fun card. Joshua Schmidt hates me. So the next card I got. This card is actually like super goaded, and I actually, I'm so stupid for not ever using this card. Today, I played against two decks that summoned Dragoon, or summoned like a monster that I straight up couldn't out, like can't out because it can't be sure of battle, can't be target. It's like Dragoon and the Buster Blader thing with the Buster Dragon on the field. So you run uh, Underworld Goddess, goaded card. And she's a fiend too. Yep. I might have banished this off of Prosperity twice, with in quote, I'm not gonna get punished for this. When in quote, in both games, I did get punished for this. Nope for the future. No, don't banish Underworld Goddess. You're gonna need it and you're gonna regret banishing I it. Would, I would piggyback off of that and I would say, don't banish late game cards turn one. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's just not a good practice. These are the three whatever cards. These slots, I, I need to change it. Two of these slots, this is the one slot where you can, this could be whatever. This could be whatever. These two, I feel, honestly, have to be this and this. It has to be on uh, Maki Next and this. I didn't have these cards at the time. If I had them, I would have definitely freaking replaced these with this. So your opponent gets stopped off of one summon with this. They like, okay, pass turn. It has, it has one material. You go, okay, Maki Next, attack. Like, and then you can also just also use mocking access to interruption. You can use that as an interruption when your opponent activates a card, be attached, take their monster. No, it's a card, it's any card, just take it. Yeah, okay. And then you can just be like, okay, I took say I take I'm just gonna take use the example, take a card, and then you can go for you still have materials for a two materials use. 
Right. So yeah, this is necessary. This is so necessary for them. Also, I have a tech for Maki next that makes going first even better. That basically says GG's to like, spe like spell and card base next. And then you know what card it is. And the last target, this can literally be whatever you want. I would honestly prefer it to be maybe this. I don't know, something. SP, you know, SP, uh... Little Knight. Yeah. Yep. That broken new card is gonna come out, you know? You can also use this, Muckcracker. Like, like, I feel like these are good. Muckcracker can bring back so many other things, and it can actually protect them from being destroyed by card effects. So, like, you don't have to worry about... I got Regeki, actually. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I actually got Regeki. It was pretty funny, because everything activated. It actually protects everything, so, like, they can't, like, Lightning Storm. No, like, yeah, this deck, the extra deck's flexible. That's what I like about this deck. But I feel that only one slot's flexible, so, like... But this is necessary. This is... This is these are too good. There are so many going second. That duel versus the Dark Magician where I lost, I actually... If I made this... You want the Dark Magician as an ex you want the Dark Magician as a C material? You couldn't do anything. You didn't have a target for Eternal Soul. Alright, last but not least is the side deck. I'm just gonna go in order of high priority cards that I feel like helped me the most today. So, Goat. Goat, best card in the deck. I actually ran through a Dragoon. Uh, I attributed a Buster Blader. Like, literally. It's a Fiend also. Like, so I actually got Kaiju. I got Raiden today. I was like, it's a Fiend, so I'm gonna use it for Yama. Next is Darkhol. This is my tech, Dark Hole. Well, it's not my tech, but it's a funny tech. Dark Hole. So you can actually play this like off a of Sarama play. Like Sarama set a twin and then pop it and then try to pop it. If they, if they try to negate you and you set up Dark Hole, you'd be like, okay, Dark Hole. Now I can play some more. And now you have, and they have to play. So it's also good going second. There's so many so many boards in Yu-Gi-Oh! net right now that just end on monster interruptions, not spell and trap card interruptions. Yeah. And even then, there's like easy ways to bait out the special spell interruptions. like. Yo, this card is so good. In this deck specifically. There's no, I'm not going to explain this card. Uh, all I'm going to say is, main phase, battle phase, and battle phase. So, this card is actually pretty good. You actually don't need your spell cards. You actually don't. So, what, what you can do is, pop your own anti spell. <laughs> because of this guy. This guy says you can pop one card you control. Yeah. Uh, just pop this. Just pop your own anti spell. And even then, oh no, you have to set... Oh no. You have to set Abominations Prison. My, 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 what am I gonna do? Pop Abominations Prison effect? Start something from the deck? Yep. It's a really good tech. Like, Antipel came up twice today. Came up versus Brandon. Yep. <laughs> There's even one point you were running Skill Drain, right? Because you could. I, I, I tested out Skill Drain. Because you, I got Skill Drain today, I was still able to play. I actually yeah. was able to play. The next is Spell Trap Card Disruption. It's like, whatever. Yep. I don't know why I have a single Light in the Storm. It could be a single, it could be Twin Twisters. I mean. We just hate back row decks around here. Yeah, we literally hate back row. I keep on like, don't, don't play that sweaty ass armpit labyrinth deck around me, alright? Yeah. Gonna, you're gonna get fetter dusted for And five. this is a flexible slot, not like that. I, I could, I wish I had a different card. I actually would have took this out if I had them at the time. I would replace these. Like, this didn't come out. Like, this didn't come out. This is, this is like not even the best going first card. Toxic. Yeah. The best card in the game right now. Best card. So the play for this one is you you uh bing into this and then yo draw face. Uh target, locking X. So fucking toxic. So yeah that, that, that that's it for the deck. Yep. Uh overall thoughts, uh overall thoughts. Deck's broken. I tried. I, I wanted to play Evil Twin, the Evil Twin version. The Evil Twin version is good. Don't get me wrong. Now, the, that deck, that version hasn't been explored as much, but I think this, the pure version is just more consistent. Okay. It's less prone to interruption. So, all right. Let's open my uh, your prize prize packs that are most likely going to be fucking supers. Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they use that one, yeah, they do. They do use that one, but <laughs> ultra race. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Next. The go. QCR. Yo, let's go. QCR. Oh, you're finished. Yo, let's go. Let's. Go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god, more in the binder. <laughs> We'll take it. Uh, Revolution yeah. Synchron. Yeah, Revolution Synchron. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. And last one. Crimson Dragon. Oh. Mm. Fucking Tisty. Get out of here, bro. Useless. This is the best card. The best card in the deck. Alright, that's it for the video. Tistina deck profile coming soon. Oh.